Nigeria's infrastructure deficit had been a huge task that successive administration had battled to summon. This as in addition to the challenges of insecurity, corruption and economic recession, which many say have compounded the task of the present administration. The Nigeria Infrastructure Advisory Facilities Forum is to enhance existing partnership between government and the private sector on how to redress the infrastructure deficit across the country. The Vice President says government is committed to reflating the economy by funding critical infrastructure. A very special pleasure to join with you in looking back on the projects delivered and the milestones achieved to date, even as we look forward to achieving much more success in the near future. This publication records the notable achievements and lessons learned across key sectors of Nigeria infrastructure, Nigerian infrastructure delivered through the partnership between NIAF and the Federal Government of Nigeria. It's important that as this phase of the program comes to a close, these lessons are not lost, but are instead used by stakeholders across sectors to structure delivery that works in Nigeria and for Nigerians. NIAF has shown a strong, client-focused, flexible working relationship with many of the key ministries, departments and agencies of the Nigerian government. For Don Mello, a representative of the UK DFID, the essence of the advisory committee is to engender competitiveness as well as investment in infrastructure. As a consequence of this high exchange rate, very few Nigerian exports beyond the oil sector have actually been able to, uh, to function. With the recent weakening of the Naira, uh, we know there are a host of challenges uh, on the economy uh, associated with that. But what I don't hear enough about is the opportunities that this weakening of the Naira may present for Nigeria to resume its place as a major exporter of non-oil goods. And I believe there's an opportunity to address this. Uh, and there could be a renaissance uh, in Nigeria's agro-processed goods uh, for the export markets. And we, that we know Nigeria has the potential to export. But this relies on Nigeria not only looking inward in its time of economic challenge, but also looking outward too. And I'm very pleased to see with the Vice President here that we have someone who is looking both uh, at the opportunities externally as well as those in the country. I point of the event is the unveiling of the compendium of the committee by Vice President Oshibayo.